Hello, my name is Anya, and today we're going to configure a repeating group inside a repeating group and build the whole thing responsibly. I have a project, and that project has a name as a text field and then team members as a list of users. I added some projects into the database with some different users on them. Now let's build our repeating group. So I'm going to build this whole thing responsibly. So I'm going to start by giving this whole page a container layout row and container alignment to the left. This is not going to look the nicest because I'm just trying to give you the basic idea and you can play around with padding and colors and size a little more later. So I'm going to make the cells container layout a row and then I'm just going to make this a fixed 500 and then the element is fitting its height to its content so it will grow accordingly. I'm going to remove this fixed number of rows and that's good. Now in here let's add some text and then we can make the data source of this whole repeating group just a search for all of the projects in the database. Now we can take our text field over here and make it the current sales projects name. I'm also going to remove the fixed width and then remove the minimum height. Now we can add in our second repeating group. I'm going to add this in this cell. It will automatically go on the side like this. We can give it container layout row. I'm going to remove fixed width and it'll just take up exactly half of the space. And then all of this is fine by me. I'm going to remove this fixed number of rows and make the minimum height of the row just 30 because all we're trying to do is display the name, which shouldn't take up all that much space. Now, here's the important part, type of content. I am going to make this users and its data source is going to be the current cells projects team members. This is a list of users. It's going to be different for each project and we have that dynamically filled in there. Now I'm going to just drop a text field into the first cell and it can just say the current user's name. Let's preview this. And we can see that we can see the name of the project and then all of the users there. And we were able to have a repeating group based within a repeating group whose content is based on the current cells content. Now I just want to make this responsive. So all of this empty space, I'm just going to remove it. The way we're going to do that is by going over here to layout and removing the min height. So this will just condense as much as possible. And then on our repeating group, we can also remove the minimum height of the row. So this will fit whatever its content is. We can preview this again and we can see that everything has condensed accordingly and it's looking really nice. One thing that I am noticing is I actually didn't set the minimum height of the row to be zero. Just deleting it doesn't really do what you would expect. And now if we preview it, we can see that everything is condensed nicely just how we want it. We could obviously remove these borders, add some padding, and make it look really nice. But This is the overall concept, and thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.